What's up, Captains? Welcome back to the other decks. My name's Casual Dobo, and today I sort of just wanted to go over a method for uploading your custom decks uh, from OnePieceCardGame.dev over onto Tabletop Simulator. And the reason I'm making this video is uh, because if you're like me, uh, coming from the Digimon card game, uh, I think I can safely admit for all of us, we've been spoiled by the deck uploader. <laughs> Yes, the Tabletop Simulator mod does have a deck uploader built into it, um, provided by the community that worked on that, um, that the One Piece CCG does not currently have. And while the One Piece CCG is, you know, regularly updated, and they do have an option to, um, you know, put out all the cards for that set, and then copy and paste as you need to, it's a little bit slow of a process and quite a bit of work, especially if you've done all of that work already in OnePieceCardGame.dev. But after messing around a little bit, you know, because I want to get some games in, uh, I did find a way where you can pretty easily upload your custom deck onto uh, the mod and then later save it so that when you go and play it against other people, you'll have access to it. Normally at this point, I would snap over to a different frame, but I am going to show sort of my full screen in totality. That way you get all the details of it. So without further ado, let's switch over to the other screen. All right, so before we get started, um, there are a couple things that you'll need. One, you need access to the One Piece TCG uh, mod through a tabletop simulator. Best way to go through that is to look at the uh, Steam Workshop and then search One Piece TCG. Uh, should look like this image that I'm putting up right now. The other thing you'll need is OnePieceCardGame.dev. And like I said, this is where I do like 90% of my work. Uh, it has a built-in deck builder, which is nice, that if you just click the cards over here, you'll add them over and has these nice little graphs. But after I've already, you know, built a deck and then saved it using the save function here, um, I'll go into my decks. This is a little bit of a spoiler alert, uh, but I want to put this deck on the tabletop simulator. So how am I going to do it? I'm actually going to hit export and then you'll see image pop up here. So honestly, you won't want to mess around with this too much. Um, I usually just do high quality and then normal uh, size and then I will download the image. And then if I go check my downloads, you'll see that it downloaded here or wherever your downloads go. Uh, you'll notice that it is a JFIF file. To be honest, I don't really know what that is. I think it's like essentially a big JPEG, but if you double click it, you can just change that to JPEG. Hit okay or yes. And then that'll actually make it into a JPEG file. Uh, you'll notice it's still very readable by the computer. But more importantly, it'll allow you to upload the image onto a tabletop simulator. All right, so go into tabletop simulator and then open up the One Piece TCG um, mod. And if you've never seen the One Piece TCG uh, mod, this is what it looks like. Uh, like I said, it is updated, so they do have the four starter decks. Uh, and then over here, you'll see uh, that you can actually pull out the booster cards. And it comes in like that and so you could theoretically go through them um, even search this uh, to try and find what you need and then make copies and then build a deck that way but like I said I wanted to make it a little bit easier because you've already done all that work so what do I do I go into objects and then in components cards you'll find custom deck uh, just click this anywhere um, that is a full, essentially 50 card deck right there, but you can alter the things. So I clicked out of it, and then once I click out, um, I don't want to make any more decks, it'll give me this uh, pop-up, and this is where I can change all the settings. The most important thing to do first before anything is to change the height to 6, and then change the card count to 60. And this is important because essentially what this is going to do is upload an image and then from that image it's going to break it out into the number of cards that you specified. So now I'm going to upload the images. So go into face, browse local files, find the image that we want, hit OK. And then um, if you're going to, if you plan on using this against other people, like you essentially want to go into multiplayer, um, you do need to hit cloud. So hit cloud and then hit upload. From there, put the backs, 
And if you don't have access to a picture of the card backs, uh, go ahead and check out the One Piece TCG Discord uh, that I'm a part of. Uh, they have the images in there. You might need to search for it. Or ask around. Everyone's super nice over there. So yeah, once again, uh, cloud, upload, cool. So with all these parameters, our face cards, the back, 10 width, 6 height, 60 cards, and I'll hit import. And there we have our deck. So let's go in a little closer, and you'll see if everything is done right. Hey, there's our leader card. And just to make sure, I check the next couple. Sweet. Uh, the other thing you'll want to do is uh, flip this around. So just highlight the whole deck, hit F, and then uh, the first nine cards should be uh, filler cards, essentially. Just because uh, for, uh, I assume, the system to make that image, uh, you might have noticed that there were some filler cards just because those are cards that were not used, right? These decks are 50 cards plus one out of a 60 card sheet. And so there you have your cards, and you might notice there's a little bit of a size discrepancy. No worries if you just highlight this and then hit the plus sign on your keyboard a lot or hold it down. You can uh, size it up so that it's pretty equal to this. And that is how to upload a custom deck onto the One Piece CCG mod for Tabletop Simulator. But now that you've done this work, you probably want to save it so that you can use it against your friends, right? So real quick, just for an aesthetic thing, this is just a me. Uh, I do like to put my leaders on top before I save them. Cool. So once again, make sure everything's highlighted. And then if you right click and then find Save Object on uh, the menu, uh, root folder doesn't really matter, but uh, Odin Green Deck version 1. If I hit save, it's now saving, and then I can actually pull it up in objects, saved objects, uh, ignore all of my Digimon decks, and then uh, Odin Green Deck V1. And then you can just drag and drop. And that's it. That's all there is to it, to upload your own custom decks onto Tabletop Simulator and enjoy some games with friends. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. We're doing a lot of One Piece CCG content as well as Digimon card game content. Uh, so if those two games are something that you're interested in, uh, this is the right channel for you. But awesome. I think that'll do it for me. So thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And captains, remember, build what you like play what you love, and I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one.